friends welcome to my hospital at ranaghat india in this video i want to share my approach of managing a cataract with moderate ifis and this is the case you can see that the people has dilated quite adequately but you will see what happens as soon as i start managing the nucleus by this time the incisions have been made and now rexis is being done since the people has dilated up to say 5 mm the erexis is going along the border of the pupil that's it the erexis is done now hydro dissection fluid wave is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim this is a 27 gauge cannula and you could see that the fluid wave going from on side to the other side some more fluid is passed from this side and now the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated mobilizing the nucleus and I can see that the nucleus is rotating freely Pisco is again injected and now management of the nucleus the tip of the phaco handpiece is being introduced into the anterior chamber this is Oatly Cataract 3 phaco machine at this moment the bevel is down and I'm going to remove some superficial cortical lens matter before I bury the teeth and attempt direct job. Now see what happens. As soon as I apply vacuum to bury the teeth, the people has become so small and the iris has got incarcerated in the side port and it is tending to prolapse through the side port and I know that it will be very difficult to continue emulsification of the pieces if the people becomes so small so here is my technique I come out reposit the iris inject visco I have chopped the nucleus into some fragments and now my plan is to emulsify the fragments single-handedly without using chopper without taking help of the chopper because if I introduce the chopper through the side port again the iris will tend to prolapse through the side port so here I go I'm emulsifying the nuclear fragments single-handedly and the people was okay and during emulsification of the last piece last portion of the last piece the people is becoming small but still I can manage that's it so the nucleus is managed single-handedly you can do this you can just chop the nucleus into fragments come out reposit the iris and then inject visco and then emulsify the nuclear fragments single-handedly and you will see that the people is round and quite adequate in most of the cases cortical cleanup in this case is being done with the help of 23 cores simco cannula because there is only one sideboard That's it. 
the cortical matter has been removed. Now, viscoelastic substance is injected because if I inject viscoelastic substance, the people will dilate and I will be able to see the anterior capsular rim and I will be able to make it sure that the lens goes in the capsular bag. Yes, the lens has gone in the capsular bag. And I am removing the viscoelastic substance now. And this removal of visco should be very meticulous. This is a step which is not that glamorous like management of the nucleus with ultrasonic energy. This is just irrigation and aspiration of the viscoelastic substance but it is very important. Unless we spend some time in cleaning this viscoelastic substance meticulously what will happen is the intraocular pressure will be very high next morning and the patient will not feel comfortable at all. Now here it is. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The side port has been hydrated and it has been closed. The anterior chamber is formed and the case is concluded like this. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills and in the management of cases with IFIS.